Hi guys, are we gonna be able to do this today? I have no idea. So essentially what I need to do today is everything by myself while watching Forest because Chad is very busy today working. Um, I don't even know how to stand because this is short. So I'll just hunch down like this. So we need to pick up the house. It's actually not that messy. The last few days I have been doing everything like I did six loads of laundry yesterday, folded all of it, put it away. I cleaned the shower in our bathroom. Um, I vacuumed upstairs and so downstairs. I just have to like pick up and do the dishes. I also need to pack for a little less than a week for all of us. I need to get everything in the car. I need to get gas. I need to wipe out the car. It's not that dirty, but I just like, I want to wipe things down and throw away some trash in there. Um, I need to pack all for his stuff, like his pack and play, his mattress, um, his camera, his thing for sleeping some toys because we're gonna go spend the 4th of July with family. So I really hope I get all this stuff done. Um, I hope you enjoy this. Please like and subscribe if you do. I think the first thing we're gonna do is go wipe down the car. Forrest is napping right now, it's noon. So this is like something I can't really do if he's awake, you know? So let's go do that and we'll go from there. Please wish me luck, let's go. I'm going to get all the trash and excess items out of here. Some coffee cups, an old mask, a jacket I know we won't need, and then I'm gonna wipe down all the surfaces, all the hard surfaces, with a multi-surface spray. I feel it in my veins. Hands in the sky. I can feel the winds of change. You live and you learn. And I hope I've seen enough. Something right Make up for what I lost I was down But things are looking up I wanna get high on you Well, that did not take long at all. I got the travel stroller out of there, wiped everything down. I think we're gonna bring the full-size stroller. It's just better for walks, the kitchen. I have a lot of dishes to do. Let's get through that super quickly, and then I think after that I can start packing if Forrest doesn't wake up yet. Well, I hope you guys are ready for a to-do list that is a mile long. Some days when I have so much to do, I won't even write it down. It's all in my head and I'm just go, go, go. And some days I will take the time to write it down because it's just so satisfying to be able to cross it off your list. So let me know which one you are. Are you a list maker or are you all up top? I'm going to empty the dishwasher, finish doing that real quick. We'll load it up, wipe down the counters and make the kitchen look good. For today, I I really just want to, of course, pick up the house, but also keep it clean throughout the day as we go. So you'll see a little bit of that too. And then once we get some things done around the house, we'll start packing our suitcases. So we emptied the dishwasher, it's almost all loaded up, the sink is almost emptied. I'm working on our never ending section of water glasses and coffee cups. We go through so many of those.
<laughs> we are nearing the end of Forest Nap. That's how I've been able to do everything I've done so far in the kitchen and wiping down the car. So I'm gonna kick it into high gear and hurry up and get a few more things done before he wakes up and I need to go get him. Just finishing up what's in the sink, wiping it down, and then I'm gonna start wiping down the counters. And after that, it's gonna be time to go get him and get his lunch started. And I'm just trying to get a few things done ahead of time. So I have his high chair out and ready to go. I have a pot of water waiting to be turned on to make him some lunch. Just showing you that he woke up there on the monitor. So I'm gonna finish getting him dressed, get his lunch ready, set that out so I can keep working while he eats. So now throughout the rest of the day, we'll go back and forth between packing and cleaning a little bit here and there whenever I have the chance for either of them. And I'm starting to load up the dining room table with everything we're going to need and put things in the car as I go. So I'm gonna start with diapers and wipes. Cannot leave without those. I'll put some toys in the car a little bit later. We are going to quickly pick up the dining room area and the living room, all the toys on the floor, straighten up the throw pillows, etc. And then I'll throw some toys in the car that I was just talking about. I have one bin. There are some toys there Forrest can play with, but of course I want to bring a few of his own that he's familiar with and that I know he enjoys. All right, so now that the living room and dining room are ready and good to go, the toys are going in the car right now, I'm going to work on my makeup bag. Before I travel, I love to go through this, wipe everything down, and also pull anything out that I know I'm not gonna use. I don't wanna bring anything just to have it. I don't wanna add any weight that I'm not gonna need. So let's do that real quick. Let's pull everything out, wipe it down, and then I'll put all the products back in in order of how I put them on and wear them. That way I'm not gonna leave anything I need behind. And real quick, I'm going to wash all the makeup brushes that I'm bringing. I think I only bring 
um, like four or five. I used to bring an entire set and that phase has passed, especially with being a mom and just needing so much stuff for Forest in general. I definitely have downsized what I bring with me, so I'm gonna scrub my foundation brush and the rest, and then I'm going to lay them out to dry, get Forrest out of his high chair, wipe him down, and we will go from there. We still have so much more to get done. And before we head upstairs to work on the suitcase, all I need to do is wipe down the high chair, wipe down the top, lay that out to dry, and then we're gonna begin packing. On days like today, I'm just gonna say this for all the moms, there definitely is a lot more screen time than there is on other days, but that's okay because I know he's not gonna be watching TV for an entire week. He'll be playing in the water with family, on the boats and playing in the sand and all those things so sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do i laid out a lot of items as i was doing laundry just kind of like threw them in the suitcase that i knew i wanted to bring with me so now i'm gonna go through and fold all of them section everything out that way forrest has his own section and i have mine I still use the KonMari method for folding almost everything. I find it so much easier because I can count as I go how many items are in there, especially if you're like me and you don't get to pack all in one go. If you have to do it in stages and you kind of like forget how much of certain items are in there, then you can quickly count and see it instead of going through stacked piles. There were a lot of items laying in that suitcase ahead of time for Forry Boy, so now I'm in my closet working on everything I need to bring for myself. A few more seconds of packing my clothes, then we'll work on toiletries, go run that errand I was talking about. When I'm flying, I will try and pack specific outfits with items I can rewear with other outfits. But for a road trip, since I don't have to worry about a weight limit, I'm not nearly as specific.
I was in Forrest's bathroom real quick, getting all of his toiletries into a bag. Now I'm in my bathroom working on mine. I have a lot of toiletry bags that I've just accumulated throughout the years, and I really like the kind that opens up and has a little hanger on it. I think those are by far the most convenient. I can put all my skincare in here, hair ties, toothbrush, toothpaste, mouthwash, etc. So let's fill this bag up real quick. I'm going to actually leave these out here so we can both shower for us take a bath I can shower before we go <sighs> okay I'm hiding in the bathroom I'm almost done packing I have all four clothes all of my clothes I'm gonna let Chad pack for himself I'm gonna start for him that's what I typically do if I get a chance and then he will finish it um, I packed his bath stuff. I'm leaving it by the bathtub because he still needs to take a bath. I have all of my hair stuff and my skincare in the suitcase, the makeup's downstairs as we know. So I'm gonna make my bed and then we're gonna go get gas. I'm on my phone now, so my battery for my camera that can charge. And I just wanted to show you, literally the only way I can get him in the car without screaming and fighting me is a snack. So let's hurry up and get out of here before that runs out. The only thing I'm doing is I'm going to get some gas and then we're gonna come back and put everything in the car. We are back home and back to work. I'm gonna load up a snack bag for Forrest, all of his pouches, sippy cups, anything we'll need for him throughout the next week. And then I'll also bring items that would go bad while we're away. Since we're staying with family, we can do things like that. So like any fruits and vegetables in the fridge, hamburger buns I threw in there as well. Here's a little bird's eye view of everything that's inside. The snack bag is on the dining table waiting to go out to the car whenever I get the chance. Now I'm working on our shoes, so I will throw those in a reusable grocery bag as well, make it super easy. After that, I'll work on my work bag, so my laptop, my voiceover mic, all the things I need to get this video up will go in the third bag. So many different bags. Do you guys pack in bags? Because, I don't know, that's just how I do it for road trips. It makes it 10 times easier. I just brought this down here like all packed up to put in the car. He's gonna be sleeping in this with a mattress and he wanted to get in it. So I'm gonna take this opportunity to run upstairs and grab the suitcase. I have a ton of stuff right here. And I really am coming down to the wire, you guys. I cannot believe I've gotten as much done as I have. I do have some dresses that are in the mailbox right now. Um, so I'm gonna ask Chad, it's like 4.30, he should be home soon. I'm gonna ask him to grab them if he's gonna be a wild and forest and I will go for a walk and grab them but it's a hot one so 
Let's keep going. Almost everything I've prepped so far is going into the car, then I'm going to take out the trash. This is always one of the very last things we do before we leave the house for several days. Nobody wants to come home to a full trash can. That is so gross. Don't forget to do this if you're going on a road trip soon. We just had dinner and I just opened all these dresses. I ordered them from Petal and Pup. It's my first time ever shopping that website. They're really cute. I'm gonna put them in my suitcase, but first, that share. I laid them across the dining table, so I know it's gonna be a little bit difficult to see exactly what they look like. This one is a maxi dress, it buttons all the way up, really pretty and flowy. This one's similar, but it falls right above the knee. And then it has a little sleeve on it. This one I love. They're all, you know, somewhat similar. A button up, this one is a little longer than the other one, a white and pink stripe. Has a sleeve to it. And then this one is like a spaghetti strap. Blue and white gingham. So I'm gonna throw these in my suitcase and then I got some dry shampoo upstairs. I know I'm gonna need and then sunscreen for Forrest. I'm also gonna pull some pajamas out of here for him. I packed four, we're gonna be there five days and we can do laundry there. So I'm gonna use one of those. Surprised by you Want you to make my heart feel as much as I know it should I wanna get high on Caught by surprise by you Want you to make my heart feel as much as I know And then if you come over here, I'll be sitting right here, right next to Forrest. It's a really long drive. It's like a little over four hours. So I wanna be able to see him, reach him, hand him things. He'll hopefully be sleeping for almost the whole ride. I have his blankets and then I have my work bag right here cause I'll be on my laptop working on this video. Of course, Chad will be driving and snacks and whatnot will be in the front seat. The last thing we need to put back here is Chad's bag. He's packing it right now and possibly the stroller. He might rearrange to fit the stroller. And then that is everything. I hope you guys enjoyed a little bit of a clean with me, pack with me life organized with me it was a busy day i hope it was at least motivating if you needed some motivation today please be sure to like subscribe check out the links below i always link recent videos i'm out of breath and more and i will see you guys right here in a few days in a brand new video bye